Yeah, hi, Bumper. Yeah, hi. Welcome to my new, or our new, pet vlog. Say hi, Pepper. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, hi, Pepper. Yeah, hi. This is our new dog. His name is Pepper. Right, Peppy? It's a Peppy Le Pew. And Pepper is actually Blue's litter mate. He is his older brother. If you guys have not seen my pet introduction video, meet my pets. Ricky and Blue are actually related, and so is Pepper. They're all related, they all have the same mom. Bricky is from the first litter, she has a different dad. And Blue and Pepper are from the second litter and they have the same mom, same dad. In case you're wondering, well, how do you not have Pepper and didn't have him from the start? Um, Pepper was not supposed to be my dog. I wanted a puppy from Selena's second litter and that's how we got Blue. All of her puppies have been always distributed out to um, people either in our family that's related to us or close friends or something like that. So Pepper actually went to a couple and the couple ended up splitting up and then he was just left there. So once I heard about it I was like just please bring him over to me we'll take him and that's how we got Pepper. So obviously we did not name him. Uh, we got him when he was three. This is very recent. He's gonna be four at the end of this month. So August 31st, him and Blue are both gonna be four. And it's gonna be their birthdays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's such a cuddly little dog. He just loves love. Yeah. He loves all the attention, all the loves. He just wants to cuddle all the time. My papa. Pepperoni. <laughs> yeah. He gets along great with his brother and sister. Um, at first it was an adjustment for him because he was the only dog in the household that he grew up in. So going from being a puppy and having six siblings, I mean everyone, I was the last I think to get um, one of the puppies to get blue i was the last one so he was the last puppy there i believe i believe i could be wrong um so i got blue at, when he was two months so i'm pretty sure they don't remember any or any of that of being around each other so i mean i could be wrong on that too who knows but it took a while for him to be like okay this is like my new reality that's going on right hey. yeah he gets along great with the kids, Tyler, like, he fits in perfectly. And he looks like a little raccoon and, I don't even know. I was thinking raccoon and, um, like, a ring-tailed lemur, but, because his tail has, like, the black and the white tip. It's not really ringed, but, and he jumps around like it's a freaking bunny. His ears are huge, and they make him look like um, those lion head bunnies. Hey guys, so I am currently editing Pepper's vlog, and I just want to point something out. So I said in the vlog that I think he looks like a lion head bunny, which I still think he does because of the floof that he has going on which is apparently from the Chow Chow. Um, and I also think that he looks like an Angoria bunny. I'm gonna put a picture of both bunnies um, in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go so I can continue editing the vlog so you guys can see it. Bye. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Yeah.
That's what you look like. And when I did Blue's DNA test, I did a DNA test on Blue because we didn't know who the dad was. His mom, Selena, my brother's dog, um, escaped the house one day and came back pregnant. And yeah, so we did, or I did, a saliva test. After I did it, I found out that they're not so accurate. The blood test is better. And so I just haven't gotten that done because I was like, well, the saliva test, but... I'm probably gonna get it done later on on um, Bricky as well. I do know who her dad is because her dad was my mom's dog, which was a Yorkie, which is why she's smaller than these two. These two supposedly their dad is part Chow Chow, which blue that would explain his crazy behavior and his like little lion's mane he got going on. He ha has one too. I have not given him a haircut. I've been waiting for it to grow out because when he came to us, he had patches of his fur missing um, from him constantly scratching. He had fleas, so of course we treated that right away. Yeah, we did. We made you not itchy no more. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. His fur is growing back. It was really bad, like, by his tail. That's where most of his fur was missing. And now that is grown and great. But he does have, like, some dreadlocks going on back here. We're definitely going to be giving him a haircut soon. We'll see how he goes with that. He already had baths, had plenty of baths since then because he was dirty. So... Not to try and rag on the people that had him before, you know, things happen. I'm just glad that he is in his forever home and he gets to be in it with his younger brother and his older sister. You like to be held like a baby, don't you? It kind of looks like a panda too, but yeah, I, I don't know. We'll figure out his little animals. Definitely raccoon. Definitely raccoon with these eyes. Yeah, the raccoon. <laughs> he now gets to have other dogs to play with so he's like figuring out and like learning all of that which Bricky stepped in with that Bricky was like teaching him the ropes and like how this and that like works and the whole dynamics and it's so cute to see that happen because she did it with blue because when we got her um blue was just a little puppy he was only two months old so she taught blue everything that blue knows but now blue's just crazy with it and so she was doing the same with pepper just like showing him the ropes and and the do's and don'ts of the house and the rules of their little animal community their sibling ship and all that and he learned fairly quickly it's so funny because he's like to see all three of them like around each other he is like a mix of Bricky and Blue, like the colors put together. He doesn't get up on the bed very often. I don't know if before he came to us, if he just wasn't allowed on the bed. We tell him all the time he can get up and he'll get up for like, he'll be up here for like maybe five minutes tops and then he'll jump back down. At night, he's more of a loner. I don't know if it just reminds or if he is just so used to sleeping alone. Like, I really don't know how he lived before he got here with us i i didn't know the people my brother's uh fiance knew the people any like time that where you go to sleep he like brookie and blue in the bed in the bed with us on all up on us okay all up on us while we're trying to sleep he is either in the living room on the floor or in the living room on the couch or if the bathroom door is open we'll find him in the bathroom on the floor sleeping in there so yeah, I don't know. He's a little weird one. Or if the bathroom door is closed, he'll sleep in the hallway by, um, in between Tyson and Taylor's doors. So, yeah, he's just, just a little weirdo. Just a little weirdo, which is great because we're all weirdos here. So, yeah, no judgment when it's daytime and when people are awake, he's not a loner dog then. Like, he wants to be around us and he wants to be around his brothers and sisters. So, it's, it's weird that he wants to be alone at night. It's really weird, I don't know. Maybe he prefers it that way, I don't know. All right, Pepperoni, you wanna end it with me? Come on, let's end it together. He's heavy, like blue. <laughs> Look at the camera, say bye. <laughs> say bye. <laughs> well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog with our new pet. My mom's calling, so I'm gonna hurry up and end this real quick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for today's vlog, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Let's just be here. You
you and